Hey, all right, all right, all right. It is time for another episode of the Florencio Files, and he's playing Protoss versus Zerga. Yeah, our very favorite Iranian player. Uh, that's right, I Iranian, I should say. It is the Sewer Mermaid himself, Florencio. Did I just win another battle royale? We hacked that system, damn. Uh, down here in the bottom left-hand side, the blue Zerg player is going to be opening up with a fast boarding pool. So may know what they're up against, though. That is Korean symbol, so I think this must be on the Korean server. I think that's Korean anyway. It looks Korean to me. Down here in the bottom left, it is... Come, can we get a quick translation, Twitch chat, please? Please give me a quick translation. This is Korean player. We're going to give him an intro in a sec. If someone can translate that, that would be much appreciated. If not, I guess you guys can just come up with a name. Speaking of uh, Sewer Mermaid strategies, did he just build a second forge? Yes, he did. <laughs> Cancels it. Builds again. He's like, I probably don't need two forges. As much as it would make my cannons feel better, I'm not sure. Ivan says the name is Meth Man. Okay, guys, we're calling this player Meth Man. I'm pretty sure Ivan doesn't speak Korean, but uh, yeah, we're going to trust him anyway. Drone's coming down for the expand flow. He did see that early spawning pool, so he cancels the pile. He's just going to try and block this as long as he can, but no cannon up at home just yet. Oh, he's getting ready to cancel. Does he not realize how early that spawning pool is? Flow. Oh, but thankfully the lings do show themselves. That's good for flow. Gives him warning. Now, this also gives the appearance of, hey, you've defended. You've killed the probe. Flow lets it die. Oh, no, he comes in for another pylon block. Okay, just, just wanted to buy an extra second so he can wall off, build a cannon. He's got that probe here hiding. But little does he know there's an overlord coming over. And that... Oh no, it's going to change directions too fast. It's not scouting properly. It's got to go over here. Oh, it's going to stop just short of seeing the probe. And it changes angle. No, meth man. Oh, damn it. Oh man, meth man. Meth man's going to try and break in, but he's going to see a cannon and go, yeah, nah, okay, we'll just stay out here. We probably don't want to run up there. Nah, we, we don't want to don't employ any of those tactics. And, ugh. The Iranian's back at it again. He says, my life for Aya and my cannons for your hatchery. Now, I wonder how long he waits for this. Does he build the cannons straight away? Or does he wait until this is about three quarters done so the cannons finish and show themselves just after it finishes? Because for those who don't know, it's not until a building's finished that it gets vision. So it's got a real tiny ring of vision and it won't get the normal vision until it's finished building. So yeah, Flo's going to wait there. He wants maximum Zerg investment before he actually cancels or kills that hatchery. He, he wants to actually get the kill. So you see here, yeah, he waits for it to be just 25 seconds from finishing. Cannons take 29 seconds to build. So these two cannons are going to finish just after that. Now, sometimes they still end up defending and actually killing the cannons, but it always costs them a ton of money. And Flo might even build a third cannon if he wants to. Behind this, we've got probes building here. Multiple probes building across both bases. Piling up in the main. Not that he needs it right now, but uh, I think he just wants to hide his stargates up there. And the Zerg player on the other side, our meth man. The base finishes and goodbye. Starts building a unit, cancels it. The Zerg realizing, oh, you're friggin' kidding me, man. Let's go to meth man's camera. Cancels the spore in the main. He's got a few queens. He's going to spread some creep from the natural. It's not going to take the third. Keeps just glancing at it. You can tell he just scrolls over, looks at the cannons, and his eyes just kind of narrow. And he's like, you piece of shit. <laughs> he's like, you friggin' asshole. Why are you such a dick, Florencio? What are we doing? Roach Warren just injecting and stuff. Oh, and he's looking at it again. Oh, just look away. Just go take a hatch elsewhere. He's just, he's just so pissed off. I'm so sure he's so angry right now. No Zerg feels happy when a Protoss pulls that off. Like, you're, even even when this happens to me, I'm just muttering to myself. Because I'm so angry that I didn't check behind the hatch. I'm like, oh, you cheesy piece of shit. Bloody bastard. Stupid bastard. Fucking, ugh. Scroll it around. He's like, oh, man, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, Florencio has already set up his second layer of defenses if the front falls. He's got two Stargates, a cannon, a battery, and check this out. The probe's going to go hide in the corner, so we could take a corner base down there later. Void Ray is starting up, of course. A Chad really is not is not complete unless he has a, a, a buddy with him. You know, you've got to complete the uh, the full alpha 
Just one on, on the way right now. Flo is taking both gases on the expansion. Stalker up there patrolling in the main base. And that probe hiding in the corner. Overlord's having a little bit of a perv from the high ground. He just kind of says, Oh, yeah, you work those minerals, you dirty little probes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you would fucking mine that, wouldn't you? <laughs> the probes are like, dude, do you do you feel sometimes like like we're being watched? Yeah, I kind of feel like I... Like, yeah, I don't know. There's just this weird... I have uh, goosebumps on my power circuit, you know? It's just... It feels sometimes like somebody is just, just kind of watching us while we're... It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Maybe it's... Maybe the boss has set up a camera for a performance review or something. Meanwhile, the overlord's up here. Look at him. Just look. Yes, he's fucking throbbing. Jesus Christ. Disgusting unit. Abathur, of course, the one guy is like, yeah, we'll just design a unit. Its whole evolution is designed to watch from far away while it uh, softly pulsates in pleasure. And you're like, okay, that's, that's fucking disgusting. You're a creep. He's like, yes, uh... <laughs> Well, I did put high heels on Kerrigan for a reason. It's like, yeah, what is that reason? Anyway, we never got an explanation, you sick bastard. He's like, I wanted to make her not be able to run as fast. And you're like, okay, that, that seems kind of pointless. Isn't she meant to be literally a warrior fucking psionic powerhouse that leads you into battle and destroys everyone? Abath is like, oh, but I wanted her butt to stick out, really. That's honestly, honestly what I really wanted. And you're like, okay, well done, mace. Well done. Anyways, three chads come in and find a lot of queens. Get the hell out of there. Oh my god. There's only one thing that destroys chads, and that's a bunch of angry, angry queens. Those big boned lasses. Those bare, <laughs> bare naked queenos. Uh, they got a lot of energy in the bank. They got big booties and a whole lot of needles they can throw from a distance. Unfortunately, though, that is three Stargate Phoenix. And if they just pick up all the queens, maybe they could do it. But with Ravager support, I don't know, man. Nidus in the main base. Let's see. Does Florencio see it? We're watching Florencio's camera right now. He's literally just clicking his Stargate and clicking it on his Phoenix repeatedly. He just saw the Nidus. Okay, he realized. He realized. He does go. He does a recall. He's trying to hold it. Let's go back to everyone's camera. Uh-oh. Flo's in trouble. But he picks up some of the queens. He's actually already killed one of them before a transfuse can even land. Another queen's getting low. You gotta transfuse, buddy. Oh my god, he misses another transfuse. You gotta you gotta use transfuse. Meth man misses another transfuse. How high are you, meth man? <laughs> Flo still has not used battery overcharge. He doesn't have the energy right now. Actually, he does, but not on his main. And because he doesn't use control groups, he can't use it. He had to scroll to his natural, click the nexus, and then click <laughs> to get it to go on. <laughs> The Void Rays, though, look like they'll barely overwhelm the Queens. The Phoenix are out of energy, but those Void Rays will eventually be able to hang on. But man, every probe in this main base goes down. That's 21 workers falling. And if those Roaches went for the natural and kill the rest of the probes, that'd be big. But losing focus is Meth Man. Meth Man, you got to click on that Nexus if you want to confirm this kill. Is he going to get it? Yeah, there's plenty, plenty of Roaches there. The Void Rays taking a little bit too long. And that Nexus does go down. So not a bad Nidus Worm knocking Flo back to one base there. A Zergling goes down. The probes do take that one out. A total of 25 workers killed. And Flo knocked back down to a pretty bad one base economy, but he's got a sick air fleet, and that's the problem for the Zerg. If you're not going to get spellcasters out or something like that, how do you ever deal with just this, this crazy number of air units? I mean, there's great queen production right now. Is that going to be enough, though? So many Phoenix coming across the map, and Florencio says, let's retake my main and a corner base in your side of the map at the same time. It's the last place you'll ever check. Phoenix coming over. There's a lot of overlords exposed right now. The queens come off creep. Do you actually think four queens can fight ten Phoenix? Meth man, what have you been smoking? Oh my god, what a terrible decision. <laughs> uh, I, I, it's just, it's like when you see a guy who clearly can't fight pick a fight with the biggest guy in the bar covered in face tats it's just what are you doing like what has led you to be this fucking bad at decision making like don't get me wrong maybe some people failed their tests in school they didn't do well at maths maybe they weren't good at writing essays that's fine i don't judge you but if you go into a bar as a skinny motherfucker who doesn't know how to throw a punch and you pick a fight with the biggest scariest looking guy there you just, you got some, there's some fundamental common sense circuitry that is broken. And that's what happens when four queens go and attack ten phoenix away from the spore crawlers. I'm like, you guys just aren't making good life choices. You're fucking insane. Every single queen getting picked off here. A mad siege going down. Now, 
Unfortunately, though, for Flo, I don't think he's realized there's a Nidus. Uh-oh. He's going to try and recall. What did he recall just then? Uh, two, two chads. Two chads. Are they ready, though? Oh, no. Units. Unload. Unload, meth man. Oh, my God. He was too busy fucking staring at the sun. He's like, it's uh, so beautiful, man. I don't know. I've never taken meth. I always think of meth people sitting in dark houses. But it's probably a thing, right? Like, you do meth and then you stare at the sun for like 10 minutes or something. I don't know. To be fair, that seems like a heroic dose of acid or something that would probably cause that. But I, I don't know. Share your stories in the comments. I'm sure we're going to have a really interesting YouTube comment section about... You're like, oh, no, actually, uh, when you take the uh, meth, you uh, go and uh, decide to... I don't know. What do you do? Watch cartoons or some shit? Do people go out when they do that? Isn't that like... That's like a heroin thing, right? You just sit around and go... Oh, oh, and you just fucking like die on a couch, basically. It's like one of those ones you're like, oh, this is seems like a fun fun experience uh slight sarcasm involved queens and hydras running up into the main base but they're away from spores Ooh, but the phoenix the chads pulled back i actually think they could have taken that fight i think they're just trying to kind of beef up this hydra and queens give them some confidence and go oh yes we're so afraid of you oh no please don't come over here and fight us and then they turn around and just rip a few hydras apart pick up a whole bunch of them and once again, Meth Man is on a one-way trip to Dicktown. He looks around the train carriage, says, how did I get here? Why is, why is the conductor, rather than wearing a conductor outfit, he's basically just wearing a, a giant dildo suit? I don't understand. He says, well, sir, you're on your way to Dicktown. That's why I'm dressed like this. Would you like to, would you like any refreshments? We've got, uh, we've got uh, sausage sandwiches. Uh, we've got pizza with triple pepperoni. We've got all sorts of different, uh, you know, dick-sized treats. Uh, if you really want, we've got some Grundle cookies as well. Fucking uh, Mr. Meth Man's like, uh, did you just say Grundle cookie? Are you fucking serious, dude? Like, I mean, I always wanted to try those pumpkin pasties on the Harry Potter train, but I don't think anybody has ever said, yes, I would like to try a Grundle cookie. That sounds like the most messed up thing ever. And then he realizes, well, he is literally talking to a guy in a giant dildo suit who is for some reason conducting a train which he has no way of getting off he's trying to smash a way through the window he's thinking about jumping off between the carriages because anything's got to be better than where he's headed meanwhile florencio who let's be real basically is the conductor on that train in that big dick suit is just like <laughs> let's make his life hell on the trip there and really give him that special welcome to dick town where you just realize that you've actually, like, you thought you had a chance at some point. You didn't know about the corner base. You didn't know that he was just playing with his food. You didn't know that he was doing, that's right, a charge transition with no warp gate. Because he just, he really wants to make sure you smell the taint, you know? You, it's going to be disgusting. It's going to be gross. It's going to be brutal. You're going to lose all confidence. Because you're finally going to get enough hydras up to beat the void rays. You're going to go, yes, it's my time. And then mass oracle charge lot is going to come in. And I mean, it's just poetry, isn't it? Florencio, he's like, what would be the most frustrating way to die? I could just finish you with these units, but I think you've already come to terms with the fact that I'm beating you with Phoenix Voidray. I need something more surprising, sudden, and frustrating. Hmm, how about I just fucking A-move a bunch of laser units and a bunch of dudes that run at you and stab your face off? Let's, let's go to the camera of our victim here and let's just see how Meth Man's doing. Let's try and get inside the head of the Meth Man as he scratches at phantom fucking Horses. fucking bugs on his arm. He's going, ah, ah, fucking, there's a cockroach under my skin, man. There's a cockroach under my skin. Ah, he's fucking there. He really needs a fix, man. But instead, all he's been offered is different treats that for some reason have different versions of the word gooch or dick in their name. And he's like, this is really, really terrible. This is, this is, this is shit. This is bad. Why am I still in this game? It's because nobody wants to lose to a fuck nugget. That's that's just it, right? We've all been here before. We've been in that position. You're going, nah, well, maybe I could make a comeback. I'm not going to... This guy's clearly not very good. He's just doing some... Did I just put down a third? Did I just put down a third hatchet? He just sniped it. Was he just waiting there with his void rays? Oh, fuck. Oh, man, it just keeps getting worse. You know, there's that point where when you're losing a StarCraft game so much, you could be the deepest voice fucking 300 pound pure muscle man ever you will start testy popping you will start sounding like fucking morty from rick and morty oh man oh shit no like there's just a point your confidence can't last man you can't you can't keep your confidence up 
over the course of just getting destroyed this badly, right? Like, you know, he's, he's oh, we're going to macro. We do our injects, do our injects. All right, put guys on gas because I've only got 1,500 and that's not enough. And I'm um, going to send some drones to my third base. Oh, what's... Oh, shit. What's this? What's this? Um. Oh, man. We're going to get in my nidus. What, what's going on over... Oh, we just... Oh, man. Not again. Can you fuck off, bro? Please stop it. Meanwhile, Florencio is up on 53 probes, three bases. <laughs> the charge zealots are still massing off. Once again, non-warp gate gateways. The most fundamental upgrade in the game. Because remember, and I quote, I respect upgrades. I don't just use them unless there's a very specific reason. So that's the problem for Florencio, right? He's that player you have on your team in Dota who just always goes the wrong items. Because I don't follow the crowd. I do my own thing. <laughs> and you're like, but can't you just this one time make the upgrade that makes sense? And he's like, I don't follow the crowd. I set my own trend. <laughs> you're like, ah, mass charge up comes in on the third base. The Roach Hydra runs over. Uh oh, that's a lot of zealots to throw away for a hatchery, actually. Ooh, ooh. Just gets a hatchery for like 15 zealots. That's kind of expensive. The chads come back in, though, wanting to capitalize. And remember, there is nothing that makes an opponent more annoyed and helpless when you refuse to fight their army, but you just keep killing their bases. Kills the third, comes in, kills the main, doesn't let any void rays die. And this is where the Zerg goes, well, fuck, I can go for one big all in then. Okay, we're going to attack you. Little does he know there's 20 oracles. They could have won the game minutes ago. But Florencio, he doesn't just wolf his food down. He takes one delicate bite at a time. He savors the taste. That's right. He's one of those wankers. You give some of your nice whiskey. You're like, what do you think, man? Is it? I reckon it's pretty good, hey? And then he goes, hmm, there are hints of oak, smoky undertones, and a rich palette of burgundy essence. And you just look at your mate and you're like, what the fuck did you just say? And like, how much of a wanker are you? Like, what seriously did you... Like, what? What the fuck just happened? And that's Florencio right here, who finally says, fuck it, let's gulp this dinner up, mate. I gotta go. I've gotta harvest more, more people's will to live. Comes out with his 50 oracles, lasers everything to death in the most one-sided engagement ever, and is like... <laughs> and now let's go to Flo's camera, remember? It's not over until you've stabbed the corpse a few times. Maybe he's not going to bother this time. No, he's still scrolling around. He's like, are there any more corpses to stab? He's dead. He's done. Flo, you don't need to toy with him anymore. He's like, oh, but I kind of want to. I would I would enjoy desecrating his family's tomb. You're like, what? You've already killed the guy. He's like, yes, I'd also like his ancestors to feel the pain and the rest of his family to know for eternity. I'm like, oh, God. Friggin' psychopath. You're a psycho. How long does he stay in this replay? Let's let's see. I think he's just talking to his chat. And he, no, he's not done. Okay, just for science. We need to stay in this one for a moment longer. Guys, don't forget to support the Patreon and <laughs> get early access to these episodes. Okay, he just dug out. He didn't He didn't actually stab the corpse. He just decided to, to bask in the victory and enjoy it, just to enjoy it. Big thanks for the support, everybody. Really appreciate it. Max and Colonel and Vivek especially, as well as everyone else supporting the Patreon. Links below. Thank you, Florencio, for this lovely display of savage, savage butchery, and of course, an embracing of making your opponent want to quit the game. GG, well played, mate. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.